Okay, in this video, I want to show you quickly how to apply an RC2HL template. Um, it's a little bit different uh, to the, there's an extra step you have to do. Um, so I'll just run through that to show you guys how to do it. Okay, we've got here our RC5HL template applied. And let's uh, just double check that. Um, we'll just turn the RX18 on, wait for the green light. Green light's on, as you can see. And we'll just flick that switch up. And you see how it's moved to here and back. Okay, so that's our RC5HL template we have running on our 9XR. So let's turn our system off. Okay, all good. Now, how do we apply the 2HL template? Okay, first thing we must do is go to our templates menu. Okay, come down and look at RC2HL, it is RTEA. So we'll scroll down to channel order. Make sure our channel order is RTEA, which it should have been from last time. As usual, we must clear everything, start with a blank slate. So go to clear mixes and press menu till it blinks. Okay, so we've cleared all our mixes. So if we were to exit from here, you'll see that moving anything gives us nothing across this screen. So we've got a blank canvas to work with. Okay, so go back to our templates menu, scroll down to RC2HL, and then press menu till it blinks. Blink, okay, exit. We now have our RC2HL template mostly applied. Now I say mostly, there's one more step you need to do. Okay, um, you can see here, channel five is now operating on the, um, the recoil servo, but we should see nothing in these channels one to four. The RC2HL only operates on channels one, two, three, and four. So you should see nothing in this column. Now, if you try to start your tank, it won't work. Okay, there's the start button, and if we push this up, we'll see something important here. Okay, see this situation here where these two are separate, channel three is this way, channel four is that way? That is not the signal to turn your tank on. Now, unfortunately, in the, in the program, the templates can't apply certain settings. So the templates can't apply the reverse settings to your channels. You must do those manually. So what we need to do to get the tank to turn on with your RC2HL template is we must now go in and manually reverse channel three. Okay, because we want both lines over here. Okay, to do that, we go to our scroll through pass mixer to limits. Now, depending on which version of software you've got, it may just say limits, it may say limits reverse, you may not see this in the column here, but this is where we need to do our reversing. Now, come down, it is actually the, all three from memory uh, need to be reversed for your RC2HL. So you go across to there, the last column, now you just might see three blank lines or you might say normal, depends on which version of the software you have, and then just press menu and you will see it is now reverse. Scroll down one, menu, down one, menu. Okay, exit. Now hopefully, and I don't have an RC2HL to uh, test this with, but now we should have the proper operation for turning on your RC2HL. Now when we flick this switch, we should see both channel four and channel three move across here. Ta-da! That is the signal you need to turn on the RC2HL. You need that signal there. If it's anything different to that, the RC2HL will not turn on. Okay? Off. On. Off. Okay, and again, should have machine gun. So I'll do the machine gun and you'll see it move. Okay, machine gun to there. Now when we fire the cannon, You'll see the re it fire across here and the recall servo in action, just like the RC5HL. Your turret rotation on channel four, as it should be, gun elevation. Now, it's important to note with the RC2HL and your, and your um, oh well, and the 5HL as well, that any movement this way will fire your cannon. Okay, 
Canon Elevation. Steering, actually we'll do uh, acceleration first because that's channel two. That's correct. And then steering on channel one. So if your radio doesn't respond like that, and particularly that signal there for turning on, your RC2HL will not work. Okay, so that's setting up the RC2HL. You've got to remember to go in to the limits section and reverse one, two, and three. Okay, now that can't be applied on a template, so you need to do that manually. 